Welcome back folks to another video. Right, I've now finally started work on the, the Specky 2010 enclosure for the board. Um, it's typically taken me about three days of hacksawing and filing to get this far, but we've got um, look at that, that piece of art. Ports around the back there. Card slot. That's for the two um, joystick ports on the side. As I say, I can get the case together, but there's about three mil on the right side where I've got to file a bit more plastic off to get the case to go on. But other than that, I'm very pleased with it. Right, the latest news regarding the Specky 2010 board I covered in my video for my subscribers is I've finally finished work on the enclosure at long last. About three mil I've shaved off. I managed to get the box together. Um, ports have been labelled around there. As I say, I've just had these printed on some um, glossed white vinyl. Been printed on a laser printer. Um, this is basically a self adhesive backed vinyl. I've used putting the labels on the case. So I've put on there. As I say, I did have the problem of. Uh, the print on the vinyl scratching off for the labels, so what I've basically done is just covered them in tape before I stuck them on. So here we've got um, a keyboard, mouse and SD card slot on the side, video, VGA, super video, audio, um, debugging USB socket and power on the side there, your joysticks there, feet I've put on the under underside. Um, I would say the only problem I encountered with regard to the enclosure was the screws provided with the board which SID provides. I couldn't actually get them through the PCB because um, the screws were too large. So what I've basically done, um, I've used some um, clear silicon sealant for sealing the case. Um, obviously that gives the advantage of if I need to get into it at a later date, I can simply price the enclosure apart to replace the um, uh, battery backed clock on the board if necessary. Um, some other kit. This was a power supply I picked up on eBay, about six pounds. Five volts, 2.1 millimeter tip on here. There we go. And I basically picked up this to just to be used with Specky 2010. I was using a master plug power supply, which is one of these with switchable, switchable voltages on. Um, I was a bit concerned that this little thing here, so you've got the slide of the voltages, you've only got to have it on the wrong voltage, and um, I'd end up blowing the board. So um, I've actually gone out and bought a proper 5 watt power supply, which is this one off eBay, as I said, for six quid. I was a bit concerned about plugging it in at first because there was, although it, the actual milliamp rating and voltage was printed on here, there was nothing to say that it was a positive or negative tip on the um, power socket here. Because obviously, if it's a positive tip, normally the inside of the barrel is positive. If it's a negative tip, then obviously ground is inside the barrel. As I say, I did plug it in and hope for the best. It did work, so it turned out to be an actual positive tip power supply. Um, I've had the Specky 2010 board running off of this for around 12 hours solid. Um, I just left it running again just to give it a good old test on that power supply. Absolutely fine, it just got a little bit warm, so that was all. So, overall very pleased. I'm waiting for a Conic speaking joystick to arrive at the moment, which I've got off um, Gumtree. Um, I've paid about nine quid, including the postage. I've just had the email from the bloke tonight. He's going to get that sent down, so I should have a decent bloody joystick to use of this. I was originally planning to use some, some um, Sega Genesis pads with this, but then I thought to myself, well, I'm going to be playing Daddy Thompson's Decathlon. You can't play bloody wa joystick waggling games with a joypad. So I've gone for the Conic Speaking. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Um, I will be working on another project to actually go with the Specky 2010, which will be a, a modified PC keyboard. I've had some vinyl um, transfers to actually be stuck on top of the keys 
which will tell me what key does what, then it's going to be laid out the same as the Spectrum 48K keyboard, which I think is quite handy because if, if you've ever programmed a Spectrum machine, you will realise pressing Q doesn't bring up Q, it brings up plot. You get plot or press W, it displays draw, you know, so it's very confusing. So that's next on the agenda. I bought myself a little Argos. Um, PC keyboard for that, so I'm going to be working on that over the next couple of days. Anyway, that's the update. Closure's finished. Very pleased. I say, if if anyone wants any advice regarding um, working on the enclosure or anything, please drop drop me a line through my YouTube channel. And thank you very much for watching. And I will be back with another video very shortly. Goodbye. Back right. I finally managed to get these. Um, keyboard decals printed for my PC keyboard. Um, I've obtained these off of the Russian um, Spectrum forum known as zx.pk.ru. Some kind chap on there has gone to the trouble of designing these. Uh, they were as a, as a PDF document and all I did was basically download them. I managed to find a guy on eBay that prints vinyls. Um, you know, he, he he was able to print this on some vinyl uh, film. So what I did, um, is they've been printed on some white vinyl, which has got an, an adhesive back to it. Just peel off the back and stick that on your keys. I did find main problem. Although these are printed on a laser printer, the print will rub off with wear. You know, they it, it print comes off quite easily. So then I had to sort out some plain white. Um, transparent vinyl with a peel off back. Again, that I stuck on the top of this to seal the um, transfers on here. I then cut each each one out, peeled off the back, stuck it on the keyboard. Found it worked really well. Um, I got a cheap keyboard, PC keyboard for about six pounds, which I've just stuck all these decals on. Um, what I'm going to do. If you have a look on the comment section of my video, I will upload these onto Dropbox for you. So um, if there's anyone out there who wants to actually use these on a PC keyboard, I mean, you can easily use these if you're running, running a Spectrum emulator on your PC. You want the key maps for um, a Sinclair Spectrum machine, in which case this is ideal. Um, as I say, this was mainly made by some guy on the Russian Spectrum forums. Uh, there are some other things here for the different um, ZX Spectrum clones, the K1024, Pentivo, ZX Evolution, Speccy 2007, Speccy 2010. You'll find you know, there is um, all the letters here, cap shift, symbol shift, etc., etc., and also some um, labels for your ports. Uh, what I did, as I say, they're quite close together. You want a good, decent um, craft knife to cut these out. I then trim them afterwards. Um, I then just, just um, place them on, on your um, box, basically, which is what I did with my Specky 2010 board. Right, let's have a look at the keyboard, see where hell that's come out. After a couple of evenings' work, I finally got the keyboard all customised. Um, obviously, we got the PDF document I showed you, which I've printed out for each of the keys here and stuck them on. These ones across the top are the Specky 2010 hot keys, such as turning on turbo mode. This is quite handy for when you're loading up games, etc. Obviously, there are, are the other spe um, Specky 2010 keys we have along the top now. Um, also, your delete key and your reset as well. What, what I will be doing is I will put these up on the comment section of my video and I will upload them onto Dropbox. You could either use these um, transfers here for a normal PC keyboard even if you're just running a Spectrum emulator because it's handy to know for 48K basic um, you know, what key does what basically. I must say they, they're stuck on well. They're going to wear well because they've got like a protective liner on them. so. I could have gone the more expensive route and actually had some keys printed, but I looked at the prices for that and I thought, uh, no way. So um, that'll do for now. Anyway, that's our finished keyboard for the, the Specky 2010. Um, thank you for watching, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.